do. That's my story. I'm all done now. I'm on vacation. <laughs> all right, so I offered tonight to do devotions for us. Um, and since uh, Frank and I and our family have been, we were at Silver Lake before this, and um, this passage came to mind from the book of Job, and it talks about creation. Um, I'm going to read a bit of it. This is out of the message version. Uh, it says, whenever this happens, my heart stops. I am stunned and I can't catch my breath. Listen to it. Listen to his thunder, the rolling, the rumbling thunder of his voice. He lets loose his lightnings from horizon to horizon, lighting up the earth from pole to pole. In their wake, the thunder echoes his voice, powerful and majestic. He lets, us, lets out all stops. He holds nothing back. No one can mistake that voice, his words thundering so wondrously. His mighty acts staggering our understanding. He orders the snow, blanket the earth, and the rain soak the whole countryside. No one can escape the weather. It's there. And no one can escape from God. Wild animals take shelter, crawling into their dens when blizzards roar out of the north and freezing rain crusts the land. It's God's breath that forms the ice. It's God's breath that turns lakes and rivers solid. And yes, it's God who fills the clouds with rainwater and hurls lightning from them every which way. He puts them uh, through their paces, first this way, then that, commands them to do what he says all over the world. Whether for discipline or grace or extravagant love, he makes sure that they make their mark. And uh, standing at the top of the sand dunes the other day, if you've been to Silver Lake, you've experienced this, just the, the mighty hand of God over these miles of, of sand that have been piled up. And to just experience that, but I look around here and I see the same things. I see a fire that um, has God's breath in it. I see a lake that that has uh, rain filled from God's, uh, what is it, what does he say, soaking, soaking up the earth or so, soaking the whole countryside. So um, I, I just thought it would be appropriate for kind of our first official group devotion to think about how powerful God's hand is, is that he um, is able to blanket the earth with, uh, with a blizzard but yet create such beautiful works in us as well um, as humans, as each of us that are walking along God's journey um, with each other. Um, so just, just that's my thought for tonight. Uh, I would, I would um, ask if anybody has an, an experience either from this weekend or maybe a, a previous family camp that goes along with that, anything uh, about creation that has, uh, that has touched your, your spirit recently.